Are we in the kingdom of the planet of the apes? Well, let's find out. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Take 2 review. Uh, this week's Take 2 review is Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes that came out this year. Uh, they did really well with the trailers for this because I thought, I just, I just thought it was going to be a totally different movie in a lot of ways. Uh, seeing the trailers versus actually seeing the movie and that doesn't happen that often these days so like I said I was happily surprised uh, the movie it begins with uh, this uh, trio of chimps um, in an old city and they're you know climbing all these old buildings that have you know been covered with trees and foliage and you know just the being lost to time it made me think of that old history channel show life after people uh well what you find out they're doing is stealing like i guess hawk eggs or the, some kind of predatory bird uh looks like a hawk or eagle um but they get them and uh you find out soon that uh, their family, family, their family and their um, small settlement is uh, centered around birds. And uh, uh, I had the word for training birds in my mind, and it's just left. Uh, anyways, you know they they train them, um, but on their way home. Uh, they see something's following and they, you know, try to figure out what it is, but they, they don't, you know. And uh, they just go on with life and go home. Um, well, you know, they, they show you some family dynamics that are going on at home whenever they get home. And um, our main protagonist, and I never thought to catch his name, he uh, gets attacked, and his uh, egg is uh, broken, you know, so to do what he needs to do, he needs to get a new egg. So he decides to go back to the old city at night, and he runs into, well, he... It's going one direction, but he hears a lot of noise, and he decides to check it out. And one of the members of his village is there, and all these other apes from somewhere else are down for the count. And the member of his village is almost down for the count, but he's taking all these um, other apes out. And... Um, a few seconds later you hear horses and stuff and the the, the boy he hides uh, while they come through and then decide to uh, go on they, they see his horse waddle out of nowhere and they figure that's who helped that guy so they attack it and it runs so it runs home you know and they follow it well he's like a oh, crap you know and he uh follows all them back to his home and of course they attack the home and they uh just destroy everything and take a lot of the uh champs hostage um and you find out during that time that they're looking for human and uh you know there's a big fight pretty decent action fight even though you know, I'm sure it was mostly all just CG. It was just a fun fight to watch. Uh, but um, the boy tries to defend, help his father defend his father and himself. But his father gets killed and he gets knocked off the tall building they had. And, you know, is knocked out. After that, the rest of the movie is him going on a not really Lord of the Rings type journey but a journey to find 
his family and to get a revenge uh, not like John Wick style revenge but you know to to do what he needs to do and um, on the way he does encounter the human that uh, you uh, you know that caused the trouble initially he also encounters a sort of hippie type orangutan uh, well hippie slash religious type orangutan uh, that talks about Caesar and all that stuff and um, really only the last third of the movie is shown off in the um, the, the well, like what you see in the trailers, so last third is about the only bit that's that's it there, and the ape has set himself up as the new Caesar, and there's an old bunker that he's tried to, you know, get all the apes that he's conquered to uh, break into, and yeah, the last third isn't isn't anything special uh, the the better part of the movie is the first two thirds you know with the, the travel and the uh, friendship and all that not to say the last third's bad it's just it's predictable um, but all in all I don't know it, it it felt like a good blend um, of the new apes movies with the old apes movies. Uh, there are more people that can talk in this, so I'm just wondering if they're ever going to try to maybe blend these in with the old uh, in some weird way. You know, I, I don't know. Because uh, this is it. A few hundred years after the newest ones, but that would still be a few thousand years before uh, the classic ones. So, who knows? Um, I don't think I really got into the talking aspect of this that much, so, you know, with human. But, you know, it's. I want to leave some of it to your discretion for you to watch the movie yourself if if this sounds interesting. If not, well, you know, then don't watch it. Uh, if you have Hulu, though, you can watch it. Well, you can watch it because you subscribe to Hulu. I think it's probably on Hulu. I don't know if it's on Hulu with Disney Plus, but I would think it would be. Um, but, I mean, if you already paid for those, that's not too bad. Uh, if you don't, if it's, like, renting it off of Amazon for 20 bucks, maybe wait till it goes to 10 Uh But, yeah. Anyways. Um, that's all for this week. Uh, I know I said I was going to do something sleazy, but i probably wait another week after next week, because we'll during this past week I watched Love Lies Bleeding and I want to review it next so that will be next week's week after next something sleazy <laughs> anyways we'll see you all then